Hey there fellow nostalgia time travelers, welcome to Chrononaut, the channel that takes you on a journey through the mind-bending, magnitudious, multiversal maze of mischief, mockery, and mayhem. Today we embark on a journey into the realm of Hagar the Horrible, the Viking comic strip that almost saw its animated dreams come true. Hoist your virtual swords and let's navigate the seas of Hagar's creation and the ill-fated voyage of his animated counterpart. 1. Our saga commences with Dick Brown, the illustrious creator. After courtroom sketches and a stint crafting the Chiquita Banana logo, Brown debuted Hagar in 1973. Inspired by his children's playful nickname, Hagar the Horrible, the Viking strip quickly became the fastest growing in history, conquering over 1,000 newspapers. 2. While working on High and Lois with Mort Walker, Brown sought advice. Walker suggested Bulber the Barbarian, fearing Hagar might be too challenging. Fortunately, Brown stuck to his Viking guns, preferring the alliterative allure of Hagar. 3. Fate played its cards when Brown submitted Hagar to a syndicate editor. The editor, slated to review it post-vacation, changed his mind last minute. He approved the strip just days before a fatal heart attack during his ski vacation. If delayed, Hagar might never have seen the light of print. 4. Halloween in the Brown neighborhood brought an unexpected twist. While neighboring houses fell victim to Halloween chaos, the brown residents remained untouched. Trick-or-treaters, appreciating Hagar's Viking charm, left a spray-painted sign that read, Mr. Brown, we love Hagar. 5. Despite Hagar's Viking roots, some plundering escapades raised eyebrows. Brown's daughter prompted a shift, toning down Hagar's lecherous side. In her words, running off with a maiden isn't funny, it's a crime. 6. Surprising fans with his love of soda, Hagar endorsed a line of cans in the 1970s featuring popular comic strip characters. Later, in the 1990s, Hagar lent his Viking charm to Mug Root Beer, a Viking with a sweet tooth, quite the unexpected endorsement saga. 7. In a quirky turn of events, Hagar became a college mascot. Cleveland State University students, embracing their Viking spirit, named their basketball team the Vikings in 1965. Hagar and Helga took the reins in the 1980s before being replaced by an original character named Vike. 8. In Dick Brown's era, Hagar reveled in excessive drinking gags. When son Chris Brown assumed artistic duties, Hagar's drinking was intentionally minimized. The shift reflected changing times and sensitivities, acknowledging the impact of alcoholism on individuals and families. 9. Now let's navigate the stormy seas of Hagar's animated dreams. Hanna-Barbera attempted to bring Hagar's Viking antics to life with a 30-minute episode. Unfortunately, this venture turned out to be a one-episode wonder, a fleeting glimpse into what could have been Hagar's animated legacy. 10. Despite Hagar's animated dreams fizzling out, the comic strip endured. Dick Brown's son, Chris Brown, took up the artistic mantle after his father's passing in 1989. In a touching tribute, the strip officially became Dick Brown's Hagar the Horrible, ensuring that Hagar's legacy outlived his creator. 11. Before we set sail from Hagar's world, let's explore a French connection. The strip's French title, Hagar du Nord, cleverly plays on the Parisian train station Gare du Nord, emphasizing Hagar's Norse origin with a pun-based title. 12. As we bid adieu to Hagar's animated aspirations, it's bittersweet to acknowledge the Viking's journey remained confined to the funny pages. Despite a vibrant legacy in comics, the animated series, much like a ghost ship, faded into the mists of almost was television history. So, there you have it, fellow time travelers. The saga of Hagar the Horrible, a Viking whose animated dreams were dashed but whose comic strip legacy continues to weather the test of time. Until our next voyage into the annals of retro wonders, keep the Viking spirit alive and may your seas be ever calm. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like, uh your opinion, man.